Ta-da! Guess what just showed up into my garage? I actually think I accidentally replaced one of my cars instead of moving it to storage, so that's probably a bad thing. Uh, I put a lot of money into it, but guess what got here, though? My freaking Hakka Cha! Now, I actually just ordered this in yellow just for the heck of it because, you know, when I buy stuff, I usually change it to blue anyway, as you can kind of tell by mostly blue stuff in my garage. But I think I'm going to just keep it yellow because, like I said, it's too much blue in here, man. I mean, it's not it's not too much blue to me, but, you know, <laughs> I need to switch it up a little bit at least. So I'm going to take this thing out and give you kind of my first impressions on it and kind of see if I like this bike. As you see, my Vindicator over there, I love that bike. Akuma over there, I love that bike. If this bike is crap, I'm selling it. It claimed to be super fast. I like the way it crank up. But let's see if it's really ready for the streets. It's kind of struggling right now, I can, I can hear it, but we're gonna fix that, we're gonna upgrade that engine. Seems like the acceleration a little bit too slow. That turbo should help that out a lot. Now keep in mind that this thing is claiming that it can go over 150 now. Also, this bike, like the Vindicator, man, this bike doesn't have KERS. So that'll be a reason, if you want, to choose the Vindicator over this bike. Cause this bike really does remind me of the Vindicator. Like the Vindicator almost at 120. It would be an 18 wheeler right here. Ah! 120, it's, it's, it's struggling. It's claiming 150, but it's struggling, bro. That was the downhill part that got the Vindicator going. I think it's going pretty good though. On the flat, it's almost at 120. It's a little bit off. So we're gonna skip that. We did we know the downhill part is where the vindicator went on and pushed it on up there. But we ain't go we ain't gonna be we ain't gonna be too biased, bro. We're gonna get this engine suited up and then we're gonna come back and see if we can get past 142. If we can get past 142 on that gauge right there, baby, this bike is faster than the vindicator even with KERS now the Vindicator got 142 out of max for me in my just my off-site test with KERS so if it passed that without KERS this bike is definitely something to be reckoned with you heard it. What miracle did you want me to perform? All right, all right, all right. If you didn't see my other video, make sure you check it out, man. Stuff this week is on sale slash free, all that stuff. So that link will be in the description, but look at this. We got stuff on sale, and that's great because I was about to buy stuff anyway. Stuff you buy anyway, why not get it on sale, you feel me? All right, after leaving uh, Pan Spray, I realized that the color order is actually orange y'all thought it was yellow my bad my mistake but uh all i did really was change the secondary color to black you know change to the wheels i like which is trident and change these to like an orange yellow whatever you want to call it and this bike is how i like it you know what i'm saying so not much upgrading not much to do to it but now we're about to see if it can run everything's maxed out now but we're about to see what it really can do let's go ahead and look at it right now Definitely pulling more. Definitely got more power in it. Oh, 120 on the flat. Oh, no, hit the car. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's start the real test. I'd actually like to add something. This thing pops a willy very, very easy. No matter what gear it seems. Look, I'm going 120 almost. Right, easy pop with it. 
I'm talking easy. <laughs> I always wreck when I do these things, man. Got up, we almost got 120. Oh, that's it. Almost 100. Come on. 120. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call that 120. Let's go. We got to be like 142. Come on, buddy. Come on, Haka Chow. Lean in on. Stay in your lane, fool. This thing ain't beat it. No KERS. I can't push it. All I can do is hit a horn. Nah, this thing ain't making it, bro. I think Rockstar might be holding this one back. It's claiming 150 something on the on the site. But I, I'm barely getting past 120. Like I can't even get past 120. I've got this thing maxed. It's maxed out. Maybe if I hit the willy. If I can stay on the willy. Oh, shit. Let me try to spin it around on the willy though. This thing got it's very fluid driving this thing. So it look like it's a willy bike. Because they do get on that willy easy, too. Here we go. What? What just happened? Oh, yeah. Look like it's a walking bike, though. Only way you're going to get past it is walking that mother. So that brings me to one last test before I sign off. And that test is... Walking it. Oh, it let down on me. We're gonna walk it back down. Let's see what we got. All right. So, so far, I'm convinced that uh, it's not going to beat that 142. And that's because I walked it down the highway before this test for a good bit. And it did the same exact thing. Even though it's crashing on me now, it did the exact same thing on the highway. But I'm going to go ahead and do it in this way. That's why I get them gears straight. And then we're going to see Almost. <laughs> so we is getting a little more speed, but I mean, if it take that much, you know, it take that long to get there. The the vindicator of been hit K R K E R S and left you in the dust, man. I'm sorry, it, it would have. It all depends on acceleration. Now this bike do feel like it can turn and stuff better, and it handles off road. It seemed like better. So it all going to depend on the driver, man. These bikes look like with the right driver, they'll be head to head, man. Head to head. It's been Real Life Games, man. I hope this test helped y'all out, helped y'all decide what y'all wanted. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Real Life Gamers, out. Dang.